Hi everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. Today I will share one video which is not mine, so all credit goes to the owner of the video, Brain Education TV. Check out the link in the description so you can subscribe to them and I would like to share this video about Intestine Exercise for Gut Health it is an exercise that unique. It involves moving your abdominal muscles in and out to massage your gut. This can help induce bowel movement and eliminate toxins that are deeply lodged in the gut to promote gut health. Why the gut microbiome is the most important organ you have probably never heard of? The gut is the second brain and gut health affects your overall health. This means that you are what you eat. But you are also the metabolites that live in your gut and produce the substances you need for emotional balance, energy level, and disease prevention. Poor lifestyle choices causes gut imbalances, which can lead to neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune diseases, and even anxiety and depression. So, why am I sharing this video today? Well, I think I would like to spread awareness about the most important organ and that is the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome is everything from your mouth to your colon, from entry to departure, along with all the bits in between for those who don't know what it is. Therefore, your stomach, small and big intestines, and all of this little creature that dwell there, there are consequently Trillions of these tiny creatures living there, including bacteria, fungus, viruses, and cells. Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will show you a 10-minute routine to do for intestine exercise. Intestine exercise is something that's unique to brain education. And it's basically a way to use your own muscles and your own strength to massage your gut area, and particularly your intestines. So intestine exercise is really great for people who have digestive issues, if you have a lot of stress, if you have a lot of anxious feeling, depressed feeling, all of that is connected to the condition of your gut. So if you're feeling a little physically fatigued, physically tense in this midsection area, if you're feeling emotionally drained, mentally drained, chances are you need to rev up your gut. So try intestine exercises to bring some heat into your core and you will feel a huge difference. All right, so before we get into it, let's do a little bit of a warm up. So bring your feet shoulder width apart, feet parallel, not like this, not like this, feet parallel, bend your knees slightly, make a gentle fist, and with the pinky side of your fist, tap two inches below your navel. That's your core area. If you're familiar with the chakra system, this is your second chakra. If you're familiar with brain education, the term that we use is tanjan. So tap here. We'll tap here for just one minute to warm up. When you tap, make your Shoulders nice and loose, so if it helps to shake your head side to side to keep your neck and shoulders loose, please do so. And also if it helps you focus a little bit better, you can close your eyes to feel the stimulation in your Tanjan, second chakra. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. <sighs> Great, 30 more seconds. Ah. Try to relax your abdomen as much as you can. Sometimes when you're stimulating your abdomen, your abdomen wants to get tight. Resist the urge to get tight, become looser, more relaxed. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Massage your abdomen clockwise. Now you're gonna keep this posture. This is the basic leg posture for intestine exercises. Feet parallel, knees slightly bent so that your body weight is on your feet, not in your shoulders. Okay, so with your knees slightly bent, Bring your hands to the area that you just tapped, your tanjan, in other words, your second chakra. So bring your hands here, and with just your abdominal muscles, you're going to pull your muscles in and push them out. 
in and out, in and out. I'll show you from the side so you can see a little bit better. So in, out, in, out. So yeah, I'm using just the muscles of my abdomen to pull in, push out, pull in, push out. So what this movement does is from the pulling and pushing, you are squeezing and loosening, squeezing and loosening, squeezing and loosening your intestines. Just like when you get a massage, like a shoulder massage, the masseuse squeezes her hands and releases, squeezes and releases. This repetition of squeezing and releasing brings circulation, releases tension, and increases vital energy in that area. So we're using the same idea but creating that for yourself in your internal organs, all right? So we're just gonna do this straight for the remainder of the 10 minutes. You will feel many things. You might sweat, you might feel some saliva in your mouth, you might feel emotions come up, anything is okay. Just watch what comes up and let it pass. You don't have to hang on to it, just let it pass, okay? All right, so resume the posture again if you fell out of posture, feet parallel, knees bent, hands on your abdomen. Do not push with your hands. Your hands are just there to help you focus on this area more, but they're just resting, okay? You're not pushing with your hands. You're using solely your abdominal muscles. This will help move the toxins and also build your abdominal muscles too, All right. So for the remainder of the 10 minutes, we're going to do intestine exercises straight. If it helps you to close your eyes to focus, feel free to do so. If you got the movement down, there's no need to watch me anymore. Okay? All right, let's start. Make sure you are breathing though. You do not have to sync your breathing with the movements. Actually, it's better if you can separate your breathing and your movements so they're not in sync. But if that's too difficult, don't worry about it. Just breathe naturally. The most important thing is that you really pull your muscles in push out, pull and push out. If you can match my speed, that's the best. If you go too slow, that's not good. But if you go too fast, that's not effective either. So just right where you can pull in and push out. If you're sensitive to energy, you will feel heat right away. The reason why you might feel some heat is because, did you know, one third of your entire body's blood supply is housed in the gut. One third. 33.3333% of your entire blood supply is in your gut. So when you massage your gut like this, you are pumping blood to many different parts of your body. So like your hands might start to feel warm. If you're sensitive to energy, your hands will already start to feel warmer than before. Maybe your feet feel warm. So as you listen, keep doing the intestine exercises. Don't stop. Breathe. And notice, am I able to really pull in and push out as much as I can? If your gut is really tight, the range of movement in and out will be very shallow and it will hurt. You'll feel some pain come up. It's okay. If you feel pain, don't stop. That's a clue how tense your abdomen is right now. <sighs> Simply breathe and smile. If you feel some tension, it's okay. Breathe and smile. <sighs> and keep saying to your abdomen, I love my intestines. I love you, my intestines. You're doing great. Now, as you build heat, some of you might start to feel saliva in your mouth. If you feel saliva in your mouth, that is a great sign. That means you are experiencing an energy principle that we call water up, fire down. That's when Cool water energy from your kidneys rises up to your head to make your brain fresh and cool. And fire energy from the front side goes down to your abdomen. Usually people have a lot of fire and energy in their chest. That's why they have a lot of stress and blockage. But actually that fire energy needs to go past the chest 
down to the abdomen. So if you feel saliva, congratulations, you're experiencing water up, fire down. If you don't feel saliva yet, don't worry, keep going. Keep going and notice even the smallest of changes that you feel in your body. Warm hands, warm feet, tingling, pulsing, anything. For some people, you might actually feel cold. That's also a sign of healing. Coldness means toxic old energy is being purified out. So whether you feel hot or cold, you are both doing a great job. Keep going. Maybe you might hear some gurgling sounds in your guts. I'm starting to hear a little bit of poof, poof in my gut. <laughs> That's a good sign too. It means things are moving. <sighs> You're doing a great job. Do you feel some sweat? If you feel sweaty, that's another sign of water up, fire down. It means energy is circulating well. We have about two more minutes. For two minutes, try to expand and contract your abdominal muscles as much as you can. So you get a real deep massage. The best kinds of massage are the deep massages that really get the knots in your shoulders, right? So we want to have that same idea for your intestines. Deep massage into your intestines. Release all the tired energy, all the stagnant energy, toxic energy, old energy. And make it pass along your intestines so it could leave your body. I'm starting to feel hot. My hands feel very, very hot. My feet feel hot. I feel sweat. And I also feel saliva in my mouth. What about you? What do you feel? Notice what you feel in your body. That's very important. That will tell you your energy state. If you feel a lot of pain in your gut, that's okay, that's normal. It's normal for people who do this for the first time to feel pain. Because when else in your life have you massaged your gut like this? Probably never, right? So then think about all the tension that's accumulated there for many years. So of course it's natural that you feel some pain. That's okay, just breathe it out. Smile and breathe. <sighs> I love my intestines. All right, one more minute. You're almost there. Almost there. Notice any other changes. Do your hands feel warmer than before? Feet feel warmer? Do you feel some tingling in your body? Do you feel sweat? Do you feel cold? Do you feel dry mouth? Or do you feel saliva in your mouth? Notice what you're feeling in your body. And also notice if it's a little easier to do this exercise or if it's getting harder. If it's getting harder, that means all the deep tension is coming to the surface. Congratulations. If it's getting easier, that means you're releasing a lot. Congratulations. Either way, you're doing a great job. 30 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Great job. Massage your abdomen. You can shake your legs. Great job. All right, how do you feel? Just stay there and feel the changes in your body. Most people, the first thing that they notice is warm hands. Your palms will feel warmer. That's because all that blood has been pump, 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 
to your hands when they normally don't go there. And then pump, 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 pump down to your feet when they don't normally go there. So this intestine exercise, you can already see, it can give you a lot of benefit. Sometimes you can see a little bit brighter too as you experience water or fire down. If you can do one exercise the rest of your life, I really recommend intestine exercise because you will always receive stress from something in your life and there will always be a time when it affects your digestion because your mental state of being affects your gut. Your brain affects your gut. So because it's the unfortunate reality that we have to deal with stress all the time, your gut will become tense. So you need a method to counterbalance the tension that's inside of your gut always. So I highly recommend intestine exercise. And if you're wondering when's the best time to do it, morning or evening, it's it doesn't matter, but I recommend not doing it for maybe 30 minutes before and after your meal. Because sometimes, especially when you just start out, when you eat a meal and then you do intestine exercise, it can cause indigestion. It might cause acid reflux too, because your body's trying to digest the food, but you're like rocking the boat, like making it do something else. So I suggest doing it 30 minutes before or after a meal, morning or night, it doesn't matter. Either one is okay. Just avoid meal times. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you. So why having a healthy gut is important? You will feel more energized if you have a healthy gut because it is crucial for long-term health. If you have a healthy gut, you will be less likely to become sick, have more mental clarity, and ultimately be in a better emotional health than if you don't. Numerous studies have demonstrated a connection between these and ailments like autoimmune diseases, diabetes, neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, and even mental problems like anxiety and despair. To end up this video, I would like to add a bit of information on how to improve your internal fitness. So, what are some simple things that you can do to help improve your gut? Well, one is changing your diet. Two, stress management techniques, incorporating mindfulness meditation, breathing exercise, to minimize your stress or exercise is great. A 15 to 20 minutes of walking a day can help you and keep it a regular basis. And I hope you try this 10 minute routine that you watch in this video to experience intestines exercise for yourself and let us know in the comments what you feel afterward. Thank you for watching guys, have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.